This is my clearance lights, my marker light, my running light, and my low beam, my high beam, my left turn signal, my right turn signal, my forward flashers. Now can you assist me with the back, please? This is my running lights and my clearance lights. My left turn signal, my right turn signal, my forward flashers, and my brake lights. My clearance lights, they're not cracked or broken, they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. They're amber in color because I'm facing the front of the vehicle. I'm gonna inspect my windshield. I'm gonna make sure my windshield is not cracked or broken, or disappearing and it's securely mounted by the rubber seal. My rubber seal is not excessively worn or torn and it will not leak. My windshield wipers, I'm gonna make sure they're not cracked or broken and they're securely mounted. They're securely mounted to the arm, the arm securely mounted to the vehicle, no missing hardware. My windshield wiper blade, I'm gonna make sure it's not excessively worn or torn and it's a full contact to the windshield. Now I'm gonna inspect my lights. This is the cover of my lights. I have one here and one in the other side. I'm gonna make sure there's no crack or broken and they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. The light right here and the light in the other side. <clears throat> they represent my low beam and my high beams. The amber lights on the side of my truck. They're amber in color because I face in the front of the vehicle. The function of these lights is my left turn signal, my right turn signal, my forward flashers, and my running lights. <clears throat> Now I'm gonna look into my vehicle, I'm gonna make sure my vehicle is not leaning to either side, indicating the suspension problem. It can be shock absorber, leaf spring fail, or the flat tire, or the my load is shifting. I'm gonna look under my vehicle, I'm gonna make sure there's no paddles, indicating that any type of fluid is leaking. I'm gonna make sure there's no hanging hose or hanging wires. I'm gonna inspect my coolant reservoir. My coolant reservoir is not cracked, broken, or leaking, and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. It's on the proper level. The cap for my coolant reservoir is not cracked, broken, or leaking, and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware, and it's on the tight position. The rubber seal inside is not excessively worn or torn, and it will not leak. I'm gonna inspect my alternator. My alternator, I'm gonna make sure it's not cracked or broken, and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. The wires for my alternator, I'm gonna make sure they're properly routed, no exposed wire, no free wire, securely mounted, no missing hardware. Now I'm gonna inspect my water pump. My water pump, I'm gonna make sure it's not cracked, broken, or leaking, and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. My water pump and my alternator, they're belt driven. I'm gonna inspect my belt. I'm gonna make sure it's not excessively worn or torn, and it's a full contact to the vehicle. If I pull in it from the center point, it should be no more than three quarters of the play. I'm gonna inspect my windshield washer reservoir. I'm gonna make sure it's not cracked or broken and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. It's on the proper level. The cap is on the tight position, it's not cracked or broken and it's not leaking. The rubber seal inside is not excessively worn or torn and it will not leak. I'm gonna inspect all the hoses on this side of the vehicle. I'm gonna make sure there's no abrasions, bulges, cuts, or leaks, and they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. I'm gonna inspect all the wires on this side of the vehicle. I'm gonna make sure they're properly routed, no exposed wire, no free wire, securely mounted, no missing hardware. I'm gonna inspect my oil cap. My oil cap, I'm gonna make sure it's not cracked or broken and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware, and it's not leaking. <coughs> it's on the tight position. The rubber seal inside is not excessively worn or torn and it will not leak. This one right here is my oil dipstick. My oil dipstick, I'm gonna make sure it's not cracked, broken, or leaking, and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. If I need to check the level of the oil on my motor, I will pull it out, wipe it in, reinsert it, take it out, check the level of my oil. If I need to add it oil, I will add it to the cap by the gallon. Right in here is my air compressor. My air compressor, I'm gonna make sure it's no crack, broken, or leaking, and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. Under my air compressor is gonna be my power steering pump. My power steering pump, I'm gonna make sure it's no crack, broken, or leaking, and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. My air compressor and my power steering pump, they're gear driven. I'm gonna inspect my steering column. My steering column, I'm gonna make sure it's not cracked or broken and it's securely mounted. It's securely mounted by two of your joints, one in here and one on the top. 
the U-joints for my steering column. I'm gonna make sure there's no crack or broken, they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. My steering column, if I pull on it, should be no more than 10 degrees of play. Now I'm gonna inspect my, my steering box. My steering box, I'm gonna make sure there's no crack or broken or leaking and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. Right in here is my power steering reservoir. My power steering reservoir, I'm gonna make sure there's no crack, broken or leaking and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. It's on the proper level. If I need to add a fluid, I will add it to the cap. The cap is on the tight position. It's not cracked, broken, or leaking, and it's securely mounted. Under my cap is gonna be a rubber seal. I'm gonna make sure it's not excessively worn or torn and it will not leak. The hose for my power steering reservoir. I'm gonna make sure it's no abrasions, bulges, cuts, or leaks, and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. I'm gonna inspect all the hoses on this side of the vehicle. I'm gonna make sure it's no abrasions, bulges, cuts, or leaks, and they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. I'm gonna inspect all the wires on this side of the vehicle. I'm gonna make sure they're properly routed, no exposed wire, no free wire, securely mounted, no missing hardware. Now, I'm gonna inspect the frame. The frame on this side of the vehicle, I'm gonna make sure there's no uh, <coughs> crack, broken, or damaged, and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. Doesn't have any legal holes or legal wells. I'm gonna inspect my uh, <coughs> list spring mounts. I have one in here and one in the back. My list spring mounts, I'm gonna make sure there's no crack or broken, they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. Right in here is my list spring bushing. My list spring bushing, I'm gonna make sure it's not excessively worn or thrown, and it's a full contact to the vehicle, no missing hardware. These ones right here, they're my leaf springs. My leaf springs, I'm gonna make sure they're not cracked or broken or shifting, and they're securely mounted by two U-balls, shim, spacers, and four nuts. This is my shack absorber and my shack absorber mounts. I'm gonna make sure my shack absorber and my shack absorber mounts, they're not cracked or broken, and they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. And I'm gonna make sure that my shack absorber is not leaking. Now I'm gonna inspect my pitman arm, my drag clean, my upper, my lower control arm and my tie rod. I'm gonna make sure they're not cracked or broken and they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. They're securely mounted by three custom nuts and three cutter pins on this side. I have one in here, one in here, and one under. From there, I'm gonna inspect my uh, brake chamber hose. My brake chamber hose, I'm gonna make sure there's no abrasions, bulges, cuts, or leaks, and they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. <clears throat> and it's not leaking. This is my ABS wire. My ABS wire, I'm gonna make sure it's properly routed, no exposed wire, no free wire, securely mounted, no missing hardware. This one right here is my brake chamber clamp, my brake chamber and my brake chamber clamp. I'm gonna make sure they're not cracked or broken and that they're securely mounted, no missing hardware, and they're not leaking. My push rod and my slack adjuster. I'm gonna make sure they're not cracked or broken, they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. They're securely mounted by two pins and two cutter pins. If I pull on it, it should be no more than one inch of the plate when my brakes are released. Now I'm gonna inspect my inside half seal and my outside half seal. I'm gonna make sure my half seal is not cracked, broken or leaking and it's securely mounted, no missing hardware. If my half seal was leaking, I would see paddle or spin trail as I need to add a fluid, I will add it through the cap. The cap for my uh, half seal is not cracked or broken and it's securely mounted and it's not leaking and it's on the tight position. Now I'm gonna inspect my brake liners, my brake liners and my brake drum. I'm gonna make sure my brake liners and my brake drum, my brake liners are not cracked or broken and they're securely mounted, no missing hardware. My brake drum, it's not cracked or broken and it's securely mounted. It doesn't have any sign of the coloration indicating the overheating, uh, the overheating problem. My brake liners, they're not allowed to have less than one quarter of that inch of the thinness point. In between my brake liners and my brake drum, free of debris, grease, or any other contamination. From here, I'm gonna inspect my inside rim and my outside rim. I wanna make sure it's not cracked or broken and it's securely mounted. It doesn't have any sign uh, <coughs> illegal holes or illegal wells. My rim and my brake drum, they're securely mounted by the lug nuts. All my lug nuts, they're present, they're on the tight position. They're not cracked or broken or have any distortion. It's one of my lug nuts. What's loose, I will see rusty in this metal rim. Now I wanna inspect my tire. My tire, this is a steering tire. <clears throat> because it's a steering tire, it's not allowed to be regrouped, recap, or retread, and it's not allowed to have less then for 30 seconds of the deepest point. This tire and the tire on the other side has to be the same size the tread. They could not be mixed match and has to be the same size. My inside tire, my outside tire, and the face of my tire, 
I'm gonna make sure it's no abrasions, bulges, cuts, or leaks, and properly seal it to my rim. The air specification of my tire is 110 PSI or manufacturer specification. If I need to add air or check the air on my tire, I will do it through the valve stem. My valve stem. I want to make sure it's not cracked, broken, or leaking, and then securely mounted, no missing hardware. My valve stem cap. I want to make sure it's in the tight position, it's not cracked, broken, or leaking, and no missing hardware. <coughs> Now I'm gonna start inspecting my couplings. I'm gonna perform my air brake test. For all my tests, I will use in my primary air gauge. First, I'm gonna test my ABS light. My ABS light should come on and off in less than 10 seconds to be a good test. I'm gonna mention that my ABS light is on. My ABS light go off in less than 10 seconds. It's a good test. Now I'm gonna perform a safety start. I'm gonna make sure my <coughs> truck is in neutral. My spring brakes are applied. Now I'm going to start my vehicle. First test I'm going to perform is my governor cutout test. For this test to be success, my governor should cut up no higher than 140 psi. cut out at 130 psi this is a good test because it's not higher than the 140 psi now you want to perform my leakage test My needle has it at 102 psi. I want to start my minute now. For this test to be success, I should not lose more than 3 psi in this vehicle. My minute is up. I don't lose more than 3 psi in this vehicle. This test is good. My needle is 100 psi right now. Now for my next test I'm going to perform is my lower warning test. For this test to be success, my warning light in basket should come up no lower than 55 psi. My warning light and buzzer come out at 70 psi. This is a good test. Now I'm going to perform my spring brake pop up test. For this test to be success, my spring brake should pop up. My spring brake pop up at 20 psi. This is a good test. Now I'm gonna perform in a safety start. I'm gonna 
build the air to the normal pressure to perform my top test. To accelerate the process, I will press the fuel, not setting the 1200 RPMs. My vehicle have a normal pressure. I'm gonna perform it to my top test. For this test to be success, my parking brake should hold this tractor and trailer combination in place. This is a good test. My parking brake holding this tractor, this uh, vehicle in place. <clears throat> Now I wanna <clears throat> test my service rate. For this test to be success, my service rate should hold this vehicle in place. I'm gonna move forward less than five miles per hour. I'm gonna look through all my mirrors, make sure it's safe to do so. This is a good test. My park, my service rate holding this tractor and trailer combination in place.